what is latest uh, there are many uh, different types of uh, uh, therapies which are in the pipeline uh, but one of the curative therapy so far which is there is bariatric surgery What is type 2 diabetes and how does it differ from type 1? Type 2 diabetes uh, is a subtype of diabetes mellitus in which uh, the body becomes resistant to the action of insulin, uh, usually due to overweight and uh, obesity. And then the insulin production, uh, more insulin is needed uh, for glucose metabolism and ultimately the glycemic levels in the body increase. What causes type 2 diabetes and what are the risk factors like family history, obesity and sedentary lifestyle? For type 2 diabetes mellitus, the biggest association has been found with obesity. So obesity, uh, increased weight, uh, a sedentary lifestyle uh, and a strong family history. There is a big role of genetics in this condition. So it's a 50-50 between environmental factors and genetics. So poor genetics and poor environmental factors, if they both combine, then the patient is likely to have type 2 diabetes mellitus. What role does a healthy diet play in managing type 2 diabetes and what foods should be prioritized or avoided? For type 2 diabetes mellitus, food, uh, selection of food and taking care of one's food and nutrition has a preventive role basically. And uh, those people who take care of their food Despite having poor genetics, they can delay the onset of type 2 diabetes mellitus if they keep their weight down. Uh, and once a patient suffers uh, from this condition, then uh, taking care of his diet in terms of uh, uh, less calories, and basically uh, less glucose, uh, less carbohydrates, less fats, so they can improve the controls. How important is regular exercise for managing type 2 diabetes? And what types of physical activity are recommended? Again, regular exercise is recommended for type 2 diabetes mellitus for good control as well as not only for prevention of type 2 diabetes mellitus but for the treatment as well. Usually for healthy adults, we recommend that they should go through 150 minutes per week of moderate intensity exercise with not more than 48 hours between two sessions. Uh, we also recommend that they should do weight training at least twice weekly and combining these two modalities they can have a, a, a good and adequate exercise plan for their condition. What lifestyle adjustments beyond diet and exercise can help manage type 2 diabetes like stress management and adequate sleep? Uh, there are lifestyle uh, interventions which should be done uh, in patients who have got type 2 diabetes mellitus. As I told earlier, stress is something which is associated with this condition. It's a, it's a chronic condition, so patients tend to uh, become anxious about it and depressed about it. So uh, stress management, treatment of depression if it is clinically, uh, clinically indicated, and uh, uh, then uh, uh, going to a, a proper uh, psychologist or psychiatrist if uh, your physician asks for it. What types of medications are used to manage type 2 diabetes and how do they work? There are many groups of uh, uh, medicines which are used for treatment of type 2 diabetes mellitus because uh, the pathogenesis of this condition involves many organs, many pathways. So there are many different molecules which are, uh, which are, uh, which are used uh, to uh, intervene through those pathways. So uh, we have got uh, medicines which act on the pancreas and increase the production of insulin. Then still there are other medicines which can act on uh, body tissues, uh, increasing their ability to respond to insulin. And then still other uh, molecules which act on brain and, uh, and the gut uh, by reducing appetite and reducing weight, they act uh, to, uh, to manage this condition. Why is regular blood sugar monitoring important and what are the different techniques and devices available? Regular blood sugar monitoring again is very important because uh, uh, it is the glucose level 
the fluctuating glucose level or high glucose level which is responsible for complications of diabetes. So success of uh, treatment uh, is ensured uh, by managing uh, uh, the levels of glucose in the body in a narrow range and for that purpose we need a regular monitoring of levels. What are the potential long-term complications of type 2 diabetes and how can consistent management help prevent them? Uh, diabetes is a chronic condition and it can lead to a lot of complications uh, for a patient. Uh, right from ischemic heart disease and an increased chance of stroke uh, to diabetic foot, patient can, patients can have uh, involvement of their kidneys and eyes and nerves and uh, sexual dysfunction is a very important aspect of, of this condition. So these are different types of complications which a patient can have. What support systems and resources are available to help people with type 2 diabetes manage their condition and stay motivated? So in general we have, uh, uh, in support systems we can have uh, patient groups which, which are very helpful, patients, different patients can share their uh, experiences and they can learn from each other. Uh, then there are online resources available, there are different organizations uh, which have their material published on the internet as well as their videos available. So there is dietary advice available, there are dietary, uh, there are food recipes which are available online. So uh, big organizations like uh, Diabetes UK or American Diabetes Association or uh, Diabetes Associations of Canada and Australia they have got or IDF International Diabetes Federation. So they all have uh, resources available for general public and diabetes patients and uh, people can consult those resources. What are the latest research findings and advancements in technology that offer hope for improved management and potential cures for type 2 diabetes? What is latest? Uh, there are many uh, different types of uh, uh, therapies which are in the pipeline. Uh, but one of the curative therapy so far which is there is bariatric surgery and in early diabetes uh, if this bariatric surgery is done there are different surgeries it's a group of different surgeries which can be offered to a patient according to his or her condition so they can uh, they have a potential curative potential for type 2 diabetes how can individuals manage the emotional and psychological challenges associated with living with a chronic condition like type 2 diabetes? Yes, living with a chronic condition is emotionally challenging for patients, especially if the chronic condition is associated with complications as well as, as, well as stigma. So uh, what I would uh, suggest in this regard is that uh, it is the responsibility of uh, organizations uh, that uh, individuals are not stigmatized uh, nor uh, they, are, they face any discrimination at their workplaces, at their schools or uh, in the society in general. Uh, otherwise, if uh, uh, one is very concerned about his condition, always uh, chasing uh, numbers uh, with a condition like diabetes, then sometimes it becomes very stressful. So going to, to your physician, sharing your uh, emotions with him uh, and telling them uh, that, that you need support will help you because association of depression is very strong with diabetes so sometimes uh, diabetic patients do need medicinal intervention uh, for their stress.